Hello guys, welcome to Engineering is Fantasy. Before going towards the topic, I just want to show you some related clips, so please watch it. Now maybe a few of you were amazed but many of you knew that this is due to air suspension system. So what is air suspension system? An air suspension system is a style of vehicle suspension that is powered by electric pump or compressor that pumps air into flexible billows that are typically made of textile reinforced type of rubber. Air suspension system is actually the replacement of coil spring system and leaf suspension system with air bags composed of polyurethane and rubber. A compressor inflates the bag with a certain pressure in order to behave like a spring. Air suspension system also differs from hydropneumatic suspension system because it uses pressurized air instead of pressurized liquid. The first thing which came into mind is that who developed such a system and for what reason? And the answer is the US developed the air suspension system during World War II for heavy aircraft. The original purpose was to save weight with a compact structure. Back then air suspension system was also used in other aircrafts and heavy trucks to achieve a self-leveling suspension. So what is self-leveling suspension? In order to understand this we have to make comparison with a normal suspension system. In normal suspension system when you are continuously putting load on a vehicle it goes its rear end goes down and this also affects the handling and the braking system of the vehicle. But in self-leveling suspension system, automobile suspension system maintains a constant ride height of the vehicle above the road regardless of the load. And how it works? Self-leveling suspension system lifts the rear end of the vehicle up to spread out the weight more evenly. This puts the weight back on the front end of the vehicle. This process divides the weight of load equally on both ends. And after that, air pump pumps air to the flexible below and vehicle gains the constant height. There are three types of air suspension system. The first one is rubber billows air suspension system in this the billows have large diameter it is used for heavy loads and it can easily distribute the load the second one is the sleeve style air spring it has a cylindrical shape smaller diameter but it is used for lighter weights and it is highly recommended for height adjustment the last one is the coil spring airbags in this airbags are fitted inside the existing installed coil springs it is used for stability and distribution of load. And now the working principle of air suspension system. The working principle of an ordinary air suspension system is very simple. In this, a compressor is attached to engine's power supply which takes air from the atmosphere and compresses it. After that, this compressed air is stored in the air tank and this air tank is connected to a control valve with an air line. And a control valve is connected to all the four airbags with a pressure line. And now the pressure line is a line with which all the four airbags are filled with pressurized air. Whenever the vehicle faces a road bump, it causes compression in airbag. This compression increases the pressure inside the airbag. To maintain the pressure inside the airbag, there is a separate line in airbag which is also connected to the control valve. This line is called return line. From return line, the air will go towards the control valve. Now there are two possibilities. The first one is the open system in which this air will be extruded in the atmosphere. The second one is the closed system, it will be stored again. To maintain the same height of both rear end and the front end, there is a third line in the airbag that is control line. These control lines are connected to the level valve. There are two level valves in the four wheeler. The front end wheels airbags are connected to one level valve and the rear end wheels airbags are connected to second level valve. These level valves maintain both the ends at same height and this helps proper handling and braking system of the vehicle. This was the basic principle of an ordinary air suspension system. But now the latest version of this suspension system is the active suspension system. In this, when you open the door of the car, it will gain some specific height for a comfort setting. And after you sit in, it will again gain the same original height. And the same process will be done when you are coming out of the car. It is wonderful, but uh, what are the components of this system? In this system, airbags are connected to wall manifold instead of control wall and the wall manifold Manifold is connected to air tank and air tank is taking compressed air from the compressor. It seems similar to the previous case but the difference is electronic control unit, heating sensor, temperature sensor, pressure sensor and the remote control system. In this case, whenever the vehicle faces a road bump, it causes compression in airbag and this compression in airbag increases the pressure inside the airbag and the pressure sensor detects the increase in pressure and 
transmits a signal to ECU and now ECU controls both the compressor and the wall manifold and it maintains the pressure inside the airbag so it is highly advanced system in the latest version the front camera is also connected to ECU it detects the speed bumpers and road irregularities and transmits the signal to the ECU with the help of height sensors and the pressure sensors ECU adjusts the height of the car to avoid it from rubbing the bottom of the car with the road further the ECU is connected to interface which can also be connected to your mobile phone with Bluetooth or wireless technology it means you can adjust the height of your car with just your mobile phone or adjusting the height with the help of remote control system the remote control system transmits the signal to the ECU and ECU with the help of height sensors and the pressure sensors operate the compressor and the valve manifold specifically to gain the specific height now the advantages of air suspension system or normal suspension system the first one is more driver comfort due to reduction in noise harshness and vibration on the road that can cause driver discomfort and fatigue the second one less wear and tear on the suspension system due to reduced harshness and the vibration of heavy duty driving the third one trailers last longer with air suspension because the system components don't take on as much vibration air suspension reduces the tendency of short wheelbase truck to bounce over rougher roads and train when the vehicle is empty air suspension improves the ride height based on the load weight and a vehicle speed this system also has some drawback the first one it is highly expensive the second one fuel overheads for running compressor for occasionally pumping air to the correct pressure the third one it affects the fuel efficiency and the fourth one the air leaks can result in malfunctions